similar abort. Confirm. Face to ground. And we see that first umbilical tower separating. That means we're 35 seconds away from launch. Launch. And there goes the second tower. So we are 15 yeah. seconds away from launch. We're going to see the boosters at the bottom light up. And as they're Thrust builds that eventually overcome. Just idiot. Made one. And lift off. Cassidy, even each and Wagner on their way to the International Space Station. Fifteen seconds into the flight. All parameters are nominal. We confirm on board, all parameters are nominal. Thrusters um, are working nominally. The crew is feeling fine. 30 seconds. All parameters for the vehicle are nominal. The crew is feeling fine. 40 seconds into flight. Thrusters are working nominally and the vehicle is nominal. Getting good continuous calls from the crew and the ground, everything with the vehicle looking nominal. The first stage powering the Soyuz upward, delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust from the four strap on boosters and that single core engine. Roll and your at 60 minutes into flight. The yaw pitch roll, the attitude or which way it's pointing, hearing all those parameters or the status of it nominal. 70 seconds into flight. Everything's fine with the vehicle on our side. We confirm we're feeling good. Again, this first stage going to continue to burn for just about two minutes into the flight. So just under a minute to go on the first stage. Ninety seconds. In the flight, our thrusters are working nominally. We confirm and we're feeling well on board. So he's continuing to retreat from view, already traveling well in excess of 100, 1,100 miles per hour. We confirm. And seeing the Koryov cross there as those strap-on boosters separate, the first stage separating right on time. We also confirm lateral units separate. Their job done, they drop weight at an altitude of about 28 statute miles. The Soyuz traveling at about 3,300 miles an hour. Vehicle stabilization is nominal. Everything's fine on board. with the first stage in the launch escape tower now jettison being powered by that second stage the core stage we confirm the jettisoning of the no the trout jettison and getting some views now from the soyuz spacecraft itself looking back towards the soyuz rocket you have a solar array right in front of your view there the launch shroud has been jettisoned, so the Soyuz spacecraft now exposed. 70 seconds into flight. The vehicle is fine, and we are feeling well on board. This is Arkuti. Everything looking good with that core stage. The second stage, 90 minutes. 56 feet in length, 13 and a half in diameter, has a single engine with four fuel chambers, provides between 178,000 and 222,000 pounds of thrust, depending on their altitude, for its three minutes and 28 seconds of operation. Again, the second stage is going to continue to burn. We're looking for second stage shutdown at about four minutes, 30 seconds after launch. Parameters of the vehicle are nominal. We confirm we are feeling well. Two hundred and thirty seconds into flight, the vehicle is stable. We copy and we confirm everything is um, nominal on board.
So we're a little over four minutes since launch. Again, we'll be looking for that shutdown and separation coming up in about 20 seconds. And as that separation occurs, the third stage will begin firing. It's called a hot stage technique. And that third stage will ignite while the second is still attached. And standing by for second stage shutdown. We confirm separation of stage two. We see it as well. Everything's nominal on board. Copy. And we have confirmation second stage shutdown and separated, and you saw a piece fly off. That was the third stage's lower skirt jettison. That was targeted to come off at four minutes, 56 seconds into launch. We're already past five minutes and 20 seconds. Third stage now going to continue to burn until we're at our orbital insertion. So the initial orbit of the Soyuz spacecraft that's expected uh, to come in about eight minutes and 46 seconds of at shutdown, and then the separation coming just four seconds later. Into flight, and the thrusters are working nominally. We confirm, and everything's nominal on board. So right now, the Soyuz being propelled into orbit by the single engine of the third stage, providing 67,000 pounds of thrust, and going to continue to burn until shutdown. Coming in just under three minutes from now. 300, 360 seconds into flight, your pitch and roll are all nominal. Copy, and we are feeling well on board. Still getting great updates from the crew. Anatole Evanation talking to the ground. Everyone feeling well on board. Yaw pitch roll. The engines all performing nominally. That's the word we want to keep hearing. It means everything's going normally according to the plan. Six minutes, 35 seconds since liftoff. 390 seconds into flight. All control systems uh, for the vehicle are working nominally. And we confirm we are fine on board. Copy. 510 seconds into flight. Your pitch and roll are all nominal. Get ready for the stage separation. So we'll see the engines cut off. And once the vehicle separates, it usually gives the crew a bit of a jolt. And the Soyuz will be flying free. We see the third stage separating there. And we can see it dropping away now. Third stage separation confirmed. And congratulations, guys. You are in orbit. I am handing you over to the Mission Control Moscow. after a successful separation from that third stage. So with that, Chris Casty, Anatoly Ivanishin, and Yvonne Wagner are in outer space. For Cassidy. Congratulations, guys, on such a successful launch. Good luck.